Logan og Del har en af mine database, så går i langt med Rikran. Jeg har givet på. Vi kan se på samme hot data i en lille orange schema og samme cold data i en column og også samme real user data i en file system. Okay, if you are interested in the database, we can publish the soon match the papers. Okay, let's move to the geospatial. Now we have some plan to uh, uh, develop the uh, geospatial in uh, this uh, open source database. And uh, we have uh, integrated the uh, geometry and uh, the geography and something in, in game plan. Now we are working on the raster and the uh, trajectory. I'll get a little later. For geometry, I think many of us are familiar with this. Uh, I'll skip it. Also, uh, geography, yes, we can perform the query in the uh, database with, with SQL language and transfer uh, point like polygon and uh, something like that. Also, we can retrieve the relation between the data. Yeah. I think I need to talk about something about the index. Index is uh, in good time we, we are using the GIST, uh, GIST index to support uh, two-dimension uh, data type mm -hmm. and it is developed by Oleg and other guys but, uh, but I think it's not easy uh, two months ago I, when I talked with the data scientist based in Japan uh, uh, he found a simple query simple query will cost him very very long time maybe more than 10 minutes to perform this simple query he said it's, uh, I don't know why because he he have, he have two table, one is big table, it's about uh, millions of those, and another is a small table, have only two thousand those. And uh, if, if he want to do the spatial joy, and uh, he create the index on both table, and uh, analyze them, and uh, perform the query, it still costs him more than 10 minutes. So that means we need to use the index very carefully. Uh, in my opinion, there are many uh, many cases we need we need to create an index. For example, if a data update in route very frequently, the index will will split and merge very frequently, and the database is really really busy on this, and they have no time to deal with to deal with the query. So one suggestion is, uh, you can load all all the data together, and then you create the index. That means you need to drop index, load the data, and uh, create index again, so it will be much faster. And also if you have too much redundancy data, I mean, I mean some uh, the value of the column, they are similar um, uh, or equal, so it's very, it's not that efficiently to use the index. Also for some case, uh, the function cost is hard to evaluate. The query planner will generate, uh, maybe not that good, uh, I mean the query plan, so in this case, you maybe you need to control the current plan by yourself. So I think for me, I don't have, I don't believe the index to generate uh, by default by the query optimizer. Okay, uh, here is an interesting. Uh, several months before I watched the television, I found that they said you. Uh, the ship go from China to uh, to North Pole, to South Pole, yeah. And the ship is just like uh, uh, the number eight. But I I, th I thought it's strange why people follow this this trace. And I check, I Google it and I find that the correct route is just like the, the right one. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. So we need to make sure the projection between it. But you know. We, we achieve the geospatial in the MPB engine, it's hard to achieve this because the SRID, I mean a spatial reference ID, it will be invoked very, very frequently in the function, but if the SRID are stored on the separate uh, segments, we need to uh, retrieve them frequently from other segments, I mean, we need to access the data from the, from the net, from the network. So the 
uh, the function will be will be very slow. So we need to make made many modifications to support the SID in MPB engine. And also we have uh, sponsored to university they are doing some research on this. For example, one is working on the uh, duplicate table. It means uh, we will copy the table on uh, every segment so to faster the query like this. Also, we are we now we we support the Rust data in our dev branch. Okay, the example of the the island in China in South China Sea. Uh, in two years before, this, this island is very small. It's just like uh, uh, two house. Yes, uh, about they just have one building on this island. But uh, but now you you see it's very it is grow very big, right? They can fly the airport. They, they set up a airport on this island. Uh, I mean, in this case, the geometry is not available, so we need to we need a raster to to describe the the island. We come to some interesting things there. We can analyze the some data to buy interconnect intersection the raster data and the geometry data here. Below is an example. On the left is the temperature distribution, and we also can in, uh, intersect it with some geometry data and to analysis it with some simple SQL query. Also, for the data, data data like the uh, point cloud, we can analysis with some in, in some of the last uh, functions. But I think. We need to support the fund cloud in, in future in some natural way, not not in the with the raster. Okay. Let's talk about the trajectory. Uh, I think many guys are heard about that because we are using it every day. Trajectory is a special location of moving objects over time. That means for example uh, every guy are using a smartphone, and they can, re uh, they can record your location as uh, <laughs> time going. So, in mathematics, it's, uh, it's a continuous function, but in practical, it's uh, just uh, several, maybe a set of data, the same thing. It will it have uh, two basic dimensions, one is time, another is the operation and also other dimensions like the speed and the, the direction, something like that. And the next question is where we can get the trajectory. The first is a taxi. Uh, I know in China, especially in China, most of traffic information are generated from the, the taxi. The company get the GPS from the taxi and uh, then generate the traffic the government they, they never sell yeah, the update. And also we can use some navigation and the uh, GPS encrypted on some animals as paid is used in Australia and uh, from the satellite and uh, from the check-in data from the big star. They need some multimedia data they have geo geo tag. For example, if you record some video for using Sony camera, or if you take a picture of this place with enable the GPS and update to the website, it can find your location of the media, also some page, and, all, and the video, and, uh, and Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think the Wi-Fi is a good data source for location for location uh, objects. It's very easy to capture uh, behavior of the ob uh, objects. For example, uh, I know many web, web map so, uh, service, they try to capture your behavior uh, mainly based on the Wi-Fi. For example, you, if you connect to the Wi-Fi for one or more or longer time, that means that it means you, you are staying in the office or you are staying in your home. And if you change your SNID very frequently, you are working in some public uh, region. It's very useful to 
send some send you some useful message. And also it's very cheap. Yes. Another interesting is if you are using a cell phone, it will uh, send to your location in the port for example. Yeah, it's easy to find out your frequent location with your iPhone. So my friend suggests me to turn it off because it's uh, about your privacy. Yeah, it's uh, the data about the taxi in Beijing. From this data, you can find out we can learn how to build a smart city with a trajectory if we can name it very well. Actually, we have to do some research with uh, uh, MSI, the Microsoft research, and we try to find out some uh, traffic uh, congestion uh, due to by the powerful design uh, the local networks. We find that in, in, in some months, they are traject, uh, the traffic jams very frequently in this area. But uh, for next year, it's hard to find it. Then we find the reason they have built uh, two subway in across this region, so it can help us to find out some solution to improve the traffic. Are you using any machine learning? Uh, yes. Uh, the first we need to uh, class the data to find out uh, some popular region and uh, use some frequent pattern uh, associated rule to find the pattern between the, the, the near, nearby regions to find out uh, which, I mean, the, the transfer pattern is really hard for people. If we need to use some machine learning method. So that means the trajectory not only from the GPS also can use from other data like the way the picture and the message we upload uh, to Twitter. Also we can collect from the from our RFID and NFC and some uh, sensor. Also the credit card is another source to detect your location for example my wife used use it to <coughs> monitor my behavior by reading through a bill uh, very carefully. <laughs> yeah. And the trajectory data can be moved in, in free space in the Euclidean and also can be descriptive in some concerned space. Uh, for example, we can translate our GPS data, I mean the latitude and longitude, into the creation of the local network. So, we call it the uh, network attention trajectory. So that means we can describe the data in different uh, space. Uh, before I, before we develop the geospatial in Dongtam, we have to do many research on trajectory, for example, in uh, prediction. Um, every, every morning you, uh, about maybe you drive from your home to the office from 8 o'clock and arrive at the office at uh, uh, 8.30, it's your pattern. If you give me uh, uh, your GPS data more than one month, I can detect this pattern. So tomorrow, tomorrow is Monday. If you start your, your car, I, I know you will go to your office with, with a very high probability. So it's, it's, a, it's called a prediction. And also we try to make some analysis on the semantic. The GPS data is hard to read, so we need to translate it to some textual domain, like uh, you can you stay at home for 12 hours and go to your office, and it costs you 30 minutes, and then you stay in the office for another 4 hours, something like this. Okay. What we find is that the uh, existing database, uh, there are many guys are working and they have, de have developed some prototypes, but none of them are achieved in the general proper database. So I think you, I think you really don't like to install two databases. One is a general database like Gunplug, like Oracle, like PostgreSQL, and you still need to install this, this, uh, some of these prototypes. So a good idea is we can 
develop the GPL as a component of some general purpose database. And a uh, good news is that we, I find the PostGIS have, uh, have done some job on trajectory uh, from three months ago. It's called, uh, yes, they have only implemented one function called uh, closest uh, point of approach. It's a uh, uh, classic, it's a classic uh, uh, algorithm in the you know, trajectory line. So, we try to develop the trajectory in with some easy SQL API to uh, to analyze the trajectory data and uh, yeah, yeah actually we abstract the trajectory into three layer on the bottom we 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 need to know how to store the data and uh, in the middle we need to make, make sure. Uh, how to organize the data with different way in the MTB engine and uh, from top we, we need to specify the function to create. <coughs> we uh, we develop a trajectory where it's uh, really different from PostGIS uh, is because uh, we believe the data have weight so it's very hard to load the data into the database. For example, if you have GPS data more than five terabytes, you need to spend uh, one or two hours to load the data into your database. It's very time consuming. So one way is, is that we need to load the data into the database, just uh, store data in the GPS log, something in the uh, black box, and uh, we, we can use uh, the GPF disk as uh, one kind of uh, FDW, I mean external table, to load the data into the database. That's it. So we can query from the database directly. We need to load. The, we need to load the data, uh, the GPS data into the database, and it will, it will be fast. And also we can use some other ways like the GP load and other tools to load the, the, the GPS into the database. So both way are efficient for us, and we also define several types to use in the trajectory query. And the most interesting is the trip. Trip is an intermediate data structure for trajectory. It's just a store a metadata of a trajectory, and our query will be performed on on, on trip. And uh, the trip is really small, so it's very easy to transfer between the segments of the uh, of other segment of the segment the segment plan, and uh, it will reduce the traffic uh, consuming on the interconnect. And uh, also we have achieved uh, this function on trajectory. And I I want to design. Uh, I want to give some demo, but I find mm -hmm. that. Uh, I need more time to maybe next next conference I will do some demo on the conference and uh, I don't have enough time. Okay. Here are two examples on a function of different uh, the, the function different from PostGIS. For example, the distance we we need to consider the temporal the temporal constraints rather than a spatial one. So it will it will reduce uh, really different uh, results as a PostGIS. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Yes, uh, I was wondering, um, the, the trajectory part, it's only available in, in Pivotal database because if I understand it correctly, it's like Pivotal is an extension to Post to Postgres. Ah yes, it's a good question. I want to do this. I want to uh, after one way this is a Postgres version. I will move it to a Postgres. I will contact uh, maybe as a separate component in Postgres. Okay, so so it, it would be possible if you have, let's say, a smaller data set to just use a regular Postgres? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
uh, did you think? Uh, why did, don't you use uh, the M dimension you have uh, in post GIS already? In ge in geometry, you have the uh, X Y Z, but also the M, and you can put whatever you want into it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, just a question: Why di why d don't you rely on this feature to manage time, for example, yeah. in your trajectory? <coughs> We are different from uh, the uh, full first skill. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially for, uh, I, I have mentioned uh, three examples uh, on different between uh, MPP specific and uh, PD, one is the SRID, it has to achieve this, and also the interconnect, and also the, some other things. It's, it's, a, it's a major reason for this. And the second is now uh, we need to. We treat it as a new data model. If we perform, so, uh, I mean, develop in a post GIS, I will be affected by the code style. So we need to, we, we are planning to do this uh, by separately, then we consider to merge them together. Thanks. Okay. Take it then. Let's switch to the next speaker. So thanks again. Thank you. <laughs>